All right, let's talk meme stocks. You're still not counting these out. You think there's still room to run? Well, for the record here, I don't love meme stocks, right? When you start looking at these stocks, no. they're at elevated values. But I think the bottom line is there's just so much money sloshing around out there if you start actually looking at just the amount of stimulus that we've seen on the economy. And in fact, if you look at retail traders in general, they're commanding like 25% of the market now, which is unheard of. It was more like 18% before we had the pandemic. So there's no coincidence that all this stimulus was bestowed upon the economy and these stocks went really, really hot. Now, what's kind of interesting, though, is if you look at some of these meme stocks like the AMCs, GameStop, they're still relatively elevated to where they were you know, before the pandemic and before that mm. speculation started, whereas Bitcoin has gone straight down. So I wonder, you know, are you just seeing a rotation of these same retail traders going from Bitcoin back to meme stocks, back to Bitcoin, you know, maybe from one stupidity to another? <laughs> <laughs> Could be the same crowd is what you're saying. All right, I want to move on. Uh, talk about a financial city group. Uh, you say investors shouldn't count it out. Why do you like city over some of the other bigger financial names? Well, I like it specifically because the dividend yield is very attractive here. You're getting 3%. As we know, you have a 10-year Treasury now at like 1.3%. Uh, it's about half the valuation of the S&P 500 right, right now. And that's the other trend you want to look at here is, is where are the valuations the cheapest in the market? Because a lot of people are saying right now the market's overvalued. In fact, I have an Instagram post today. You can vote on my story. Do you like crypto here? The stock market going higher. And the reality of it is banking stocks in general are cheap. <laughs> They're literally half the value cheap. of the S&P 500. And if you just look at stack, stock buybacks this year, again, you're getting great dividends, like 3% on Citigroup. You're going to look at it like an 8% return just between stock buybacks and those increased dividends. That's a pretty awesome yield, not even factoring if that market goes up. And I think, you know, look, inflation is real. Interest rates are starting to creep higher again. That's great for banks. Citigroup specifically is cheaper, and the dividend yield is very, very attractive here. You have to have the banks in your portfolio right now, Ashley. You do indeed. I've got 15, 20 seconds. We've had him, other analysts, Ryan, say, look, they kind of feel like we've reached peak economy. The, the second half of the year, we're going to slow down a little. Would you agree? No, absolutely not. Look, we're in the midst of one of the most booming economies we've seen in like 30 years. Uh, you know, if you're going to look at profit margins are the best they've been in decades. So at this point, you have to focus on the fact that earnings are going to continue to come in strong. Valuations right now are reasonable. Get in. You're going to see a melt up. You heard All it here right, first, Ryan, Ashley. We're gonna... Thank you so much, Ryan. Appreciate it.